Hello, Book Finders. It's Thursday, November 11th, and this week I read Overqualified. So I chose this book, one, because it's short, um, and two, because I love Joey Camo. I read another one of his books a couple weeks ago. It's too late to say I'm sorry. I'll link to the video somewhere around here. And I just really like his writing style. It's clever and funny and it's a little bit dark, but never to the point where it comes off as like angsty and emotional. And I discovered him as an author um, because I followed his webcomic, A Softer World, which I will link in the downstairs mix up. Um, and I was reading that for years and then he, he published his first novel. So I've been reading all of his books since then. Um, Overqualified, I've read before, um, but I love it. The premise of it is that it's a collection of resume cover letters, but they're not your regular cover letter. Basically, they're the kind of cover letters that you would write once you'd kind of snapped. Um, and it, it gets sort of progressively further away from what an actual cover letter would look like as you go on. And the, sort of the subtext of it is that his brother died, um, and then there's this weird stuff going on with his girlfriend. And so it's, it's about learning how to deal with a loss through cover letters, told through cover letters. You don't deal with them through cover letters. That would be silly. And the reason that I really like everything that Joey Camo writes is that he's not afraid of crazy. And when I say that, I don't mean the traditional literary crazy, where it's very dramatic and, and angst-ridden and um, clearly written from the standpoint of someone that's just imagining what it would be like. Um, this is, he writes the kind of crazy that we all are on the inside, but no one ever talks about. And he just never shies away from it. And so everything that he writes is really honest, I think. And it, it sort of reveals the, the dark and dirty parts that nobody talks about about themselves. And I think that that is interesting. Um, and really difficult to pull off, I think. So in keeping with this train, I am going to be reading Joey Camo's newest book, Bible Camp Bloodbath. Um, from what I hear, the title is also a synopsis. So that, that'll be exciting. It's another very short one. And it just came out. I ordered it the day it was released. So I haven't read it yet. So I'm really excited. Um, so that's for next week. Questions. I don't think that we had a whole lot of questions this week. Okay, I went back and double checked. Dan uh, is the only one that asked a question this week, and it was about Hans von Hosel. Um, Hans has a limited amount of humor for me um, because it's it's obvious that he just doesn't speak English. Like the hilarity comes in that all of his stories. Um, are in no way related to the fandom that they claim to be a part of. But his actual writing, like, it's not it's not funny to me because it's clear that it's just he doesn't speak the language. I mean, he's German trying to write in English, and he's doing better than if I were trying to write in German. I mean, my fan fiction would be like, Guten Tag, Guten Tag, Bratwurst, Gesundheit, Auf Wiedersehen which is obviously the compelling story of someone with a hot dog allergy. Uh, so they're, they're a lot less humorous to me than they seem to be for everyone else. Um, but I, I think that ones that have far more hilarity are when they're actually legitimately trying hard and it still is just the worst thing you've ever read. Like Legolas by Laura will always be the funniest fan fiction I've ever read in my life. I'm gonna link it in downstairs mix-up um, of a dramatic reading of Legolas by Laura. It is excellent. As for NaNoWriMo, I'm really trying, but uh, I just don't have time to write that much, I think is what it comes down to, because I work a lot, and I work kind of weird hours that suck up my whole day. Um, so I just haven't had time to like really focus on it and, and write as much as I'd like to. Um, I'm giving it a good shot. I'm not like some people who I could mention that have just given up on the NaNoWriMo thing so far. But yeah, I really, I mean, I have my doubts that I'm going to finish on time, but I'm going to do as much as I possibly can. In fact, I'm planning to go and work on that as soon as I get this video uploaded. 
So hopefully my word count improves a little bit. Um, right now, the nano site is telling me I'm not going to finish until mid-February unless I write 2,300 words a day. So that's encouraging. So my question for you this week is not so much a question, um, but a challenge, sort of. Not even really a challenge. Read us a little bit of your nano novel so far. Just a little excerpt so that we get an idea of what you're writing, of how it's going. Obviously, it's going to suck because it's a first draft, but I want to hear a little bit of what's going on with you. Some of you, I don't even know what your stories are about, really. So, um, yeah, that'll be fun. I'll read mine next week because I, I want to work a little bit more before I, I read any out loud. So, look forward to that. And, Julia, I will see you tomorrow. What time?